close. Some area families are getting help for the holidays. Angela Kelly joins us live from Shopco Hall in Ashwaubenon to explain. Hi, Ang. Hey, guys. Well, it is day two of the Salvation Army of Brown County's Christmas distribution. They've been doing this for years and years, helping families in need. And right now we're kind of in the toy shopping area. We're restocking the shelves because uh, yesterday they had probably hundreds and hundreds of families come through. Right, Nan? Yes, absolutely. I think it was close to almost 1,800 of our 2,600 families came through yesterday. Yeah, so over the course of two days, they're going to help um, around 2,600 families in need. And tell us about the area that we're in right now. We are in the toy shop area, which is where the families come with their volunteer shopper to pick out their toys and stuffed animals and games for their family. Wow, look at this big guy. This is a, absolutely adorable. The number 2,600, is that up, down, the same from last year in terms of the number of families in need? It's just about the same number, but what we saw this year is many, many more first-time families, families that experienced a hardship during the year, a car broke down, a change in jobs, um, change in uh, rental costs, any of those kinds of things that really meant when they got to Christmas, they were a little bit short and their dollars weren't quite stretching. Okay, and it's not necessarily that some of these families aren't working either, right? No, they are working, and many of them are single parents who are working a full-time job, but it's an entry-level position. Sure. And they're just not able to make ends meet. There's no extras mm -hmm. for the holidays. Well, you know, with the stuffed animals, once they get even more filled up on the tables here, uh, doing okay on the stuffed animals, but there are some other specific things that they really, really need. So if you can take a look at your screen, this is how you can help. They need toys for teen boys and girls. Examples, Nan. Oh, especially for the boys. We need the X-type cologne. We need videos. We need... Um, CDs, uh, sporting things, skateboards, mm -hmm. those kinds of things. Girls? Girls, um, jewelry, um, arts kits, scrapbooking kits for the teen girls, or even those fun slippers that they all like. Okay, and also for boys and girls ages 8 to 12 years old. I don't have kids, so Nan, my question to you is what do kids that age like? Well, for the boys, it's anything Angry Birds, Star Wars, uh, Hot Wheels, the sophisticated kind of sets any connects that they can put together, things they can work with their hands. For the 8 to 12 year old girls, again, it's any kind of jewelry making kit. Mm -hmm. Those simple ones, they like to make the bracelets, the necklaces, um, also the dolls. Mm -hmm. You know, girls that age still like Barbies or those other types of dolls that they can imagine with. So let's fill up these tables, folks. Let's fill up these tables here at Shopko Hall in Ashwaubenon. Just come on over here from 8 to 5 today. You can just pull up right to the front, drop it off. They ask that it all be new, but um, we'll get that information for you, too, on our website. And we'll be joining you back here live in about an hour with more ways on how you can help. Yeah, back to you. I it love was, this time of yeah. year when we do these things. It was a few years <laughs> ago, and I was standing outside of Shopco Hall as bands full of people in toys were pulling up because yeah. they heard us say it on the air. So hopefully uh -huh. that'll happen again. Yeah. It was such a special day. Good.